if your copy of Killer7 gets a little too scratched, it'll start freaking out and just deleting shit and corrupting shit left and right. My, uh, my, my game, which I had never played when I, when I first got it because the first level was pissing me off. Like, for me, the, the elements of the game didn't really jive too well together. Um, it's, it's grown on me a little bit. It's still not exactly one of my favorite games, but it'll do. Uh, problem was, if the game, if you save, it wasn't a problem. But when you tried to save, it would then corrupt your game, if that makes any sense. It's really fucked up, but the only way that I've found that I can safely save the game is if I save and then immediately turn it off the second the save is done. Sadly, this was only learned after it corrupted my entire thousand pit. Oh, shit me. It corrupted my entire 1,000 page memory card, which literally had any game save I've ever had on the GameCube on there. So I gotta look into uh, seeing if there's any way that I can save that, because that's, that's literally like a good, I don't know what, like 10 years of game saves? Not uh, not too pleased with that. Let's uh, get this over Redmond here. Yep. So they got some really weird. I, it was pretty obvious that they that this was a Game Boy Advance game where they were still figuring out the uh, the rotation, the sprite rotation effects, and sprite like resize effects and stuff. Because right here, you don't really have a problem, but. You noticed on that last bit when Pikachu got the, uh, the potion, his sprite got a little bit fucked up looking when they zoomed in. Uh, meanwhile, like on the on the, the DS games, they've gotten they've gotten substantially better with stuff like that. It's much smoother. Probably also partly because they don't zoom in at all. They zoom out. They either zoom out or they use a bigger sprite than what you actually see, and they zoom out from that to imply that they're zooming in. Gotta be. I think when we get him to, uh. Zoom. Yep. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah. I, I don't think he's gonna be any use to us in that battle, so I'm not really sure I'm gonna keep leveling this guy up. I think I'm gonna leave him a little lower, and then we'll we'll focus on him a little bit more when uh, when we get out of Pewter City and heading to Cerulean. So let's give Stuart a little time here, shall we? So, uh... I guess it's safe to say it at, at this point, because at this point we're probably, we're probably like a week or so into these videos. Uh, but, um... So along with this actual, like, the video-based Let's Play, I'm doing a couple other things as well. And granted is also, again, almost a month in advance recording it, so some of this stuff may not be accurate. And if it's not, then I'll put a thing in the video comment or something. So just take a look down there to see if, uh, if the stuff is still actually true. But I'm going to be... Uh, there we go. I'm working on a, on a sort of pseudo-character blog. Decided to... I, I do some writing in my, in my spare time. I'm working on a couple scripts and things like that. Uh, so, I figured it'd be a good writing exercise. There's actually a blog called uh, Plays with Fire. I believe it's letsplaywithfire.blog.com. If you go there, you're going to find a, a blog from the perspective of Art. Uh, as he travels through Kanto and collects the, uh, the eight badges. That'd be a fun little exercise. Plus, it gives me a chance to write a bit of a story in there. Uh, I think what you guys are going to see out of that is going to be pretty uh, excellent. And uh, anything that happens to the Pokemon here in these videos happens to the Pokemon in that blog, too. Like, it's not like I'm just going to make shit up that doesn't have anything to do with it. It's all going to be based on what you're seeing here. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also going to throw my, my Let's Play and Associated stuff down on uh, the Nuzlocke Comics forum. Uh, I'm actually working on a comic for that as well. I, uh, as of this recording, I've only gotten the first frame down, but it was. But I'm not. A, I'm not much of an artist, and it was a big like X 
expositional frame with of pallet town with trees and houses and all that shit so uh, it's a bit more energy into that one frame that I'm probably going to put into any other individual frame for quite some time uh, but so that's going to be fun I'm going to do that that's going to be pretty close it's, it's going to be reasonably close to uh, to the content from the blog it's going to be a little bit more humor oriented and, and, and stuff like that but and last but not least, there's a good chance this one. This one is the the one that's most likely to not happen if any of these don't happen. But I'm probably I'm thinking about throwing uh, this up on uh, something awful's Let's Play form as well, uh, and you know, doing it probably by scratch. Like I'll throw links to this. So if you're if you're coming here from that thread, congratulations. I did put it up on something awful, uh, but. I'm probably gonna also do the sort of screenshot-based one that's uh, the mo that's most prevalent on uh, on those forums. Also, because it gives me a chance to actually think out my responses than uh, the shit that you've been hearing me kind of mumble and mutter off so far, which has been probably an appreciating process for all of you. It gives me a chance to be a bit more tongue-in-cheek because there's definitely some aspects of uh, of this. Oh, thank God of this uh, game that are a little bit disturbing that I haven't really had time to properly think out. Uh, no, why is it on him? See? Alright. But yeah, I'd say out of those three, the uh, the comic is probably going to be the midpoint between the, uh, the Something Awful forum and the blog as far as like mixing the two con pieces of content together so if you want the I guess best of both worlds go to the comic and then if you want to see a bit more literary stuff go to the blog if you want to see the goofy shit go to the something awful forum which uh, I guess I mean I'll throw links to that and stuff up once once that gets started but I mean eventually I mean uh Meanwhile, I don't... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. 